What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are taking a look at one of my personal favorite bows in all of Fallout 76 for Archer builds. We have the Compound Bow. Now to use this weapon efficiently, you are going to need a few things such as a crit per card to make up your build of course, a nice compound bow to vanquish your enemies, and some armor to protect yourself against incoming threats. Starting off over the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary compound bow that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the bloodied effect which is the damage increases as your health decreases, has a plus 50% vats hit chance, and it has a plus 1 to perception. This compound bow is absolutely insane and is perfect for any VATS build. And the mods that we're using with it is the Iron Sight, Explosive Arrows, and the Default Appearance because sadly I don't have any skins for this bow. Over the build, these are the base stats that make up my in-game Archer build that we're using for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up my in-game Archer build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have 3 and this one can have blocker maxed out. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15 and this one can have concentrated fire maxed out. VATS targets limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have all the archer cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have bow before me maxed out. Your bows and crossbows ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. Over in endurance, we have 6 and this so can have Kinfeen at 2 stars. Any kins you take lasts 60% longer and in this video we are taking overdrive and psycho buffs. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed out. The greater the raz, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in charisma, we have 7 and this so can have lone wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wall below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% AP regen. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do a plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 12, and this so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gory red pace. We have better criticals maxed out. Vats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have four leaf clover at one star. Each hit in Vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. We have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats, and rather will never cure your mutations. And we have critical savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. But this this is it. These are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game archer build that we're using for the video. Now let's get to my legendary perk cards. Over the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game archer build that we're using for the video. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at two stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, far flung fireworks at two stars, and follow through maxed out. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get to my armor and my mutations. Starting off over the mutations, these are the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, marsupial, skelly skin, and speed to demon. Over the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which is what I recommend you using also if you decide to go with this build. The reason being is because it says gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and when we're a bloody build, that is absolutely amazing. This is it though, this is my complete archer loadout, now let's get into some demonstrations. To begin our demonstrations with the all-powerful compound bow, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Jerry. We're gonna start by blasting Jerry's face off real quick, whoa is that a 1300, holy crap. There we go, another 1300, Jerry, I do not think you can to stand the power of the compound bow and one more shot and that is a 1959 straight to jerry's face the next wasteland monstrosities on our list for the demonstrations are the disgusting super mutants of west tech that go by the name the west techians we're gonna start by blasting this one's face off real quick there we go way to start it with an 814 straight to his face all right we're gonna lock up that one way back there can we hit him and we totally did an 854 holy crap now suicider i'm gonna have to explode you before you explode yourself this is the only way this is at to go okay 1525 oh my god this this weapon is absolutely devastating. Can we hit him in the face? And we can. We're one-shotting every single enemy we hit. Holy crap. All right, we got another one-shot. Here we go. They're shooting in the sky, and that super mutant is no more. We're roughly hitting in the thousands or close to... Look at this. 1584. All right, you stupid hound. I don't think I'm in the sneak. Yeah, I am. There we go. Okay. Oh, looks like he's crippled. We're just going to do this guy without vats. There we go. Fantastic. Where's that doggy at? Look at this. We're going to do this without vats. Goodbye, doggy. Jesus. Oh, there's another one. Goodbye, doggy. The next target on our list for the demonstrations is the one, the only, the level 75 Scorched Beast that goes by the name Charlie. We're just going to shoot at her and try to get her attention to come over here so I can lock onto her with bats. Oh, Charlie, there we go. Look at that holy crap of 1504 straight to Charlie's face. And these are heat-seeking arrows, Charlie, so I do not think you're going to be able to get away. Oh, my God. I think one more shot and Charlie's going to be done for. Oh, we got cultists over there. Get away from my Scorched Beast, you freaks. Okay, there we go. And goodbye, Charlie. One more shot to the face. And you are no more. Okay, she landed. Leave my Scorch Beast alone, you fools. Oh, my 
god. And just like that, Charlie is no more. If you enjoyed fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video for one of the best heavy guns in all of Fallout 76. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it on the screen right now. You see that? That is my in-game Gatling Plasma video.